<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Coffee Talk 2, or Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. Many of you may know that I've been waiting for this game for a while, a very long while, and I'm so very excited that it is out now. I'm playing this the day, the night after release at 2 a.m. because I just spent the entire day doing other stuff and I'm very excited to get into it. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna bother with any introduction. We are just, we are just getting, uh, play the game. Uh. Seattle, 2023, a city of enduring loneliness, a place where the dreamers, the realists and the wary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. Someone's throwing down some fucking slam poetry right now. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness. For the right to be- I- oh, my fault. Acceptance is a battle and identity is a luxury that they just began to grasp. feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing and their world becomes fast-paced with increasing popular what a okay sure yeah whether for work or for pleasure a little encouragement or simply to escape it is unclear whether or not it f helps or further isolates them as some look for answers off the beaten path seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights and a night blooming coffee shop standing between the ring streets, they'd find a small respite through a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. Just like the first game. <laughs> Massive job loses... Oh. Wait. Okay. Massive job loss at a large company moves out of state. What's next? Uh, Seattle West Precinct Police are looking for record man. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure. Wow. I guess this will go on for a while. 15 notifications. Yo, hold on. Hold on, our Officer Georgie. Hold on. I, this will bother me for the rest of time. Hey, Georgie. Welcome. Hey, evening, Coy. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. I'd say the power lines. Probably. Yeah. What about them? <laughs> that. Oh. That's a concern. The power has kept going off and on all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, eh? Sorry. I take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. I guess our resident writer, Miss Greenhaired Fairy, isn't here tonight. You mean Freya? The one and only. Unless she's changed her hair color, then my bad. <laughs> no, it's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh, why? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. That's so. At least it's, uh, that's what she told me. <clears throat> that's too bad. Evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit, it's been pretty quiet around here, but it's good for her to escape the city once in a while, to have some time for herself. Ugh, not looking too good, huh? Yeah, but I've already notified the city lights department. They said they'd monitor the area, just in case. Don't worry. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your lighter? Yeah. Got it from my grandfather, a lucky charm of sorts. Never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it to light up for longer than 10 seconds, then you're on your own. It's the thought that counts. Don't cops usually carry flashlights around? Oh, we do. But where's the thrill in that? Sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever? Hey, the machines! Machines! Thanks for waiting, I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh? No midnight patrol. And this weather is just for the night. Roger that. 
In that case, would you like to sample our new tea selection instead? We have hibiscus and blue, blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue. Huh? Uh, blue pea. It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The color's really pretty. Hm. I had no idea you offered alternative stuff. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative... Huh? Oh. It's pea. As in pea pods. Ooh. And not whatever else you thought it was. Hey, guys. It's piss. It's piss. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule? I'm sure you have all this info written down in your phone already. I want to say yes, but some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Oops, better write down everything you can remember then. Speaking of remembering, Frey actually left me something for you. That's so? Alright. Then I'll have one of your new teas, and I'll leave the choice up to you. Just keep it simple. Let's do that blue... Uh... The blue one. Yep, there it is. Give item, and do we do a little bit of, uh, this? So this is like... I actually don't know if that was in the... If this was in the demo. I feel like it was. But, um... I just remember, like, this scenario was in the demo. So I think, fellas, if you do... If you haven't seen that video of me playing the demo, you don't need to watch it. <laughs> But if you have, then I think you might be able to skip ahead. I'll leave a thing up on screen if you if there is anything new, or if I see anything new. Um, and then you can skip directly to that. Fuck viewer attention. But um, anyways, what is it? It appears she left me a message. What does it say? Nothing for you to worry about. Okay. Anyways, uh, thanks for this. Give my regards. You're welcome, and I will. Alright, here you go. Oh. Is this stuff really safe to drink? With the color and all? I assure you, it's completely safe to drink. We only put a tiny amount of cyanide in it. It's surprisingly mild, huh? Most people put lemon in it. It'd change color, too. Really? Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. It's fine. I remember my youngest showed me a video of something like that. You know, she's really into this new agey health stuff. I remember she made me a drink from blue algae or something. To lower my cholesterol, she said. Problem was, it tasted like dirt. I still drank it all, though. I sure do think of her dad's health. Yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'll stick with coffee. But this one, I don't mind at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. What a storm. Got somewhere to be? You're supposed to be home by now. My youngster just finished all of her makeup exams. Makeup exams? Yeah. We found out that for some reason or another, she's been neglecting her studies. So, let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How did it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through in the end, right? Yeah. Except we haven't spoken to each other in a month now. Sorry to hear that. Anyways... The missus planned to celebrate a little tonight. Make all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home. Because of the storm? That and my car's busted. All the valve cores removed and tires deflated. What? How come? It just so happens my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. That, that's a whole other thing going on. Rest easy though, we're on it. For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact on me and expect me to have no questions. Is it him? It's him! My off-brand Gucci wearing AirPod wearing goat boy, Lucas. Welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Paps. What's up? <laughs> Thunderstorms, obviously. Hold on, I gotta get... <clears throat> <clears throat> Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about the water bill or something. 
I'm glad you're open, though, or else I'd be super soaked by now. Happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? My name's Coy. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet. Oops, that's Mrs. Uh-oh. Mrs. Calling. Ah. Alright, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya. I like doing voices like that. So? Can I get a cafe latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes? You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me. You're the pro. Um... Okay, okay. Hear me out. You see, I used to like coffee. Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk's help takes the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. What's about coffee that you miss? The caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? Mat- ma Matcha. Matcha. Nope, but isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Then one ma- Then one matcha, matcha for me, please. Matcha, isn't that just green tea, green tea, green tea? Serve it. A cup of premium matcha. Coming up. Hmm? Hmm. Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. God, the pixel art is amazing. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. It tastes a little grassy, though, but I kind of like it. I'm glad it's to your taste. I wasn't sure if you'd enjoy it as is. Why wouldn't I? Some people find a taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Well, good thing I like intense. Because it makes up for the fact that I'm really not. Y you don't just drop this on your... Okay. Anyhow, looking forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. So, does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's, like, no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, and nothing. What's up with that? Oh. Maybe our crowd is just isn't as big as your usual coffee shop, since we open late. That makes sense. What time do you guys usually close, anyway? We're open until morning. For real? That's pretty heckin' late. Do you turn to, like, a secret bar after 2 p.m. or something? A.M.? If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. What? That's so fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no, but I have the account. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you'd like. Sweet. Thanks. I can give you a shout out my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. Took the photo and posted moments ago. That was fast. Oh? I was gonna tag your place here. I do have an account there, but I haven't seen this feature before. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty new thing on Tomodachil, huh? You can check on people's updates now. Just open the stories tab inside of your phone once in a while. Better check it daily, though, because the story only lasts a day. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some juicy info in your customers there. That's a bit... Hey, I'm, I'm just saying, people will post anything. Kidding, I'm usually more active on my Tomb channel, anyway. But hey, since you're here, do you want me to tag you instead? <laughs> no thank you. But I'm curious, what do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have uh, a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right, I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm just gonna... I report the hottest trends. On the hottest people. On the hottest places. And everything else in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? 
Sure. For the right price, you can. Aw. Never mind, then. I'm just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They keep me on brand, so to speak. They said I can get too crazy sometimes. Whatever that means. Oh, lordy. <coughs> Welcome back, Pops. Thanks. Is everything alright? Kinda. The missus is not happy. Maybe I should try calling a cab. What do you think? I'd save my minister hour, you pops. Not good, huh? Been calling him in a while since I was looking on the Been calling him while I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. There's no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? <clears throat> do you not see my phone? The only ordering I can do is from Gnome Noms from around the corner of my house. Touche. Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. Never fucking mind. I retract my statement. <laughs> for what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Nope, wrong voice. You're right. Wanna borrow my lighter then, Koi? Attempting offer, but no thanks. I'm gonna check on something though, so I'll be right back. Sure, good luck. Hey, you're right. Yeah, everything's peachy. I just... I just don't like being in the dark so much. What, you're scared of the dark, kid? D Duh. Don't you ever know who might jump out at you? You, you? you never know who might jump out at you. But we're in a room. Still, don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. If I can grab them, I can handle them. In theory. I just know how to feel about this all. <clears throat> huh? Did you hear something? What? I swear... Uh, <clears throat> I swear I heard something just now. Oh, leave. Hi? Hey guys, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Everything should be good for now. Oh, great. <clears throat> Welcome. Can I place my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we do still have the usual fare. Coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I'd like something soothing for my throat. And for my mind. Deaf day at work? Or toad? God, the amount of voices is gonna get me fucked up. <clears throat> if you have no particular drink in mind, mind if I suggest trying our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte, huh? Could you make it pretty? I can try my best. Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. Whoop, whoop. Wrong one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Unless it's two mil. It might be two mil. Oh, yes, it is two milk. I feel like you would say latte. I guess I could check what cafe latte would be. Yep, here we go. All right, hold on, guys. I got this. You know, if you don't look at it close enough, that can almost be. That can almost look like a design. That can almost look intentional. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. It's blue. Yeah, but rest assured, it's all natural. I see. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yeah, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just wait until the storm's over. Well, about that. The news said the storm's gonna go on until midnight at the very least. What? Would've been nice if I had my car. There are several road closures due to the flooding, also. Well, darn. So, basically you're saying we're stuck. Right, so. At least for a little while. I'm in deep trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. 
I have questions. <laughs> Just didn't want to alarm you, Koi. His tires got flattened. For real? Yep. There's been some vandalism going around recently. Somebody keeps removing valve cores and inflating tires from parked cars around the West Precinct. Hmm? Why? Maybe someone's a collector? Or got too much time on their hands? No clue yet. Anyway, our station... Our station lot was getting repaved. So, a few of us are to our park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's cars get affected too? Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah? Maybe because there's no real damage done other than wasting my time. Though my coworkers aren't so cool about it. Recent mass resignations have left us severely understaffed. Uh, additionally, companies are moving away due to tax hikes, so there are protests happening, which means tensions are high all around. That doesn't sound good. Don't I know it. Anyways, we caught the culprit on CCTV, so I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier than in the meantime. Could it be just a prank, Pops? You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would land elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own game genre online, you know? People watch that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah. It's all about cheap thrills, Pops. And a good way to make money, too, if you play your cards right. Well, the crazier your shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat until you push them just a bit too far and then you get the nuke and everything will just go poof and disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again though. Because really, all you need to get started is a camera phone and Wi Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. You sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh no, my manager would kill me. Joking, joking. A high risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier. Sounds like something else. Oh, yeah, anything goes for reviews. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh? That's a long story. I've been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining, for one. Why? None of pranks? Harsh. Nah, I haven't done these things in a long time. Not that I ever want to get it back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's right. Yet they get bored easily, too. Today's good might be trash tomorrow, so it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. You make it sound like the continuity of your work depends on the audience's whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I'm unable to avoid hearing you. It's alright, I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. But why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even 10 or 100 is still doable, but to influence the opinion of thousands, millions? Not so easy. So my belief is if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. No? What do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to, I was just curious. Considering I injured it, it's only fair. I admit that I'm not a big fan of online activities. I find people's contact there very loathsome. That's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online in preparation for my audition on a soprano. A soprano? Really? That's cool. Can I see it? I took it down. Oh, why? I believe she's getting to it, kid. Right, okay. It was something done out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home. Since I have no previous theater experience to show, it was not as the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the link to my video applications, although I'm not sure if it helped at all, as my attempts have yet to yield results. Right. 
However, one day, my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What did they say? They highly recommended that I moderate my video's comment section, so I checked. It was a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions, if they could even be called that. Hmm? They were a lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. What's with that nonsense? Others question my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. Many others also wanted to know who and where my handler was. Since there's no such thing as a sentence for us banshees, I suppose. That's real effed up. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POSs still exist, huh? The Vindication Act? A global treaty to recognize the sentiency of and rights of non-sapiens. Sapien refers to any species that is intelligent and bipedal, like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings, you know the type. Hmm. Yeah, like, even a satyrs that got added pretty late into the game too, you know? Oh, but shouldn't you fit into the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all born male. We didn't really have the best reputation either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law, since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Now this being unfair with our existence is not surprising to us. Still, it doesn't make it right. But I get it now. You're disdain for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. Chill? Do I look chill? Uh-oh. The light? How can you be chill? When such blatant discrep- <laughs> I'll start again. When such blatant disrespect is thrown in your face like that. Whoa. Oh. Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell. What do they feel when they commit some offensive acts? Do they derive some sort of persuasive- er, pers- Perversive pleasure from others suffering? The audacity, I can't, I can't see the anonymity of, I see the anonymity of talking through screens. It's afforded people some comfort in disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face before it. Damn it, not again. I'm drinking straight creatine. That's not true. I don't, <laughs> I don't like, I didn't want to go get water, so I grabbed my Bang Energy drink that I was saving for this weekend, which is now, so it's not that bad, but my throat, doing these voices, oh, oh. just give me a sec, oh, don't drink Bang Energy drink, guys, if you have to get an energy drink, get Celsius or Red Bull. People hate Red Bull. I, I like the flavor. Maybe for one of the fucking announcement videos, I'll do a tier list. Anyways, just a second, please. Okay. Duh, thank goodness. Hmm? It's just... Not right. That kind of behavior, it's just not right. I'm sorry, I've gone too far. It's alright. I admit, I just don't want to hear that the audience is always right. Because that means my dreams have run aground before I can even try. How about if I help you? Look, I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this, you've got what it takes to turn the tables on them. How? Easy. You've got to sell your... Whoa, kid, slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. No, Pops, not like that kind. Honestly, I don't know much about the opera scene, but I know Sirens dominate a huge chunk of the soprano roles, am I right? Yes. It's as if they were made for the role. Exactly. So, if this is a case of it ain't broke, don't fix it, which means 
don't let it, no matter what you do or how you you'll oh I, oh, oh I can't read which means no matter what you do or how you hard you try you'll always be an outlier therefore if you just compete based on your skills alone sorry to say this but you'll probably won't make it wait hear me out you got one awesome things those sirens don't have a story a story yeah imagine the banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage pursuing your dream in the midst of all the sirens despite the odds stacked against her isn't that a great narrative but you haven't even heard my singing yet have you i'd love to of course but honestly that doesn't matter as much as you <laughs> lucas <laughs> lucas <laughs> stop our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away by putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry, I have my ways. No matter how hard, you, no matter how you sing, everyone will be surprised seeing you there. And that's when you'll get your time to really shine. What are you talking? No. What? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing, to show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're just trying to sell a character of me. Of course not, no way! But, ouch, that kinda hurt a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude, but I don't know you. And you don't know me. So how am I supposed to consider everything you said? When you don't even know my name. Well, if what you've been doing had worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? <laughs> Who's the rude one? I don't know where you're going with that, but I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, crap. Hey, look, I'm sorry. The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right. Thank you for coming, Miss... Riona. Miss Riona. We hope to see you again. Our conversation... That... That... Our conversation... Oh my fucking god! Our conversation clearly took an odd turn. So, let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel a few were actually intended for me. Take care. Have a safe trip. Okay. Lucas, you buggered that. Sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. That old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. I don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped up sometimes and lose my cool. Oh, my iPhone X is buzzing. Sorry, just a sec. It's my manager. The road closure is over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off wherever. No problem. Thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, Koi. No, it, it's nothing. Okay then, see you soon, Koi. Pops, have a safe trip. Well, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call it a day. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of here. Oh, please, you know I don't mean it like that. I'm gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread, for sure. Um, uh oh. It's the missus. You know what? I think I better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. Please try not to get sick. Kidding, but I better go, though. You take care on closing, Coy. Will do. Have to get a cab soon. Thanks. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Oof. What a day. I better clean up and then... Huh? What's this? 
I want the metal lighter with it. Hey, I got the lighter. Someone must have forgotten this. Better keep it safe over here. It exudes an interesting feel. It goes in the box. That didn't look right. Okay, no, it's fine, I guess. Okay, now let's wrap this up. Yeah, day one done. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, hibiscus tea. Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, no. Oh, oh, no, hold on. No, no. That's a, no, 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 no. Oh, we're doing one day per episode. No, no, go back. No, no, stop it. No, stop it. No, 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 no. Well, coffee talk, eh? Huh? 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 Anyone? Uh, uh, uh? I love this game. I already love this game. Even though that was the demo, that was, uh, no, okay, no, that wasn't the demo. That was the same, like, day as the demo. I'm still, I love it. You know, I love this game. I love this game a lot. I love doing the voice acting. I love reading the story. I love seeing the art and the music. Fucking, I, I mwah, 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 chef's kit. Mwah. I can't wait to do more of this. I'm going to. I'm gonna hit stop record and then I'm gonna immediately hit start record and then hit record episode two. But for episode one, that's where I'm gonna end it here. We're gonna do one day per episode because that roughly comes out to like 30, 40 minutes. And I think that's really en enough for one video. I don't know if you guys want to sit here for that long. But um, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode, whatever that may be or whenever that may be. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, drink lots of water, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.